about here now is about 50 meters above sea level um, so that's about halfway from about half, 120 odd meters up at Burke and Briarana um, towards the mouth of the ocean that's above sea level so uh, behind me here now on the HEMA maps it, it shows that the uh, Darling River actually turns in like a swampy area so beyond these sand dunes and interestingly enough some of them are red very red dust um, sand dunes and behind, beyond that, as I say, is the Darling River, but it's in a floodplain, really muddy, a really flat country. So we're still 100 k's down to Wentworth, down this way, and uh, that's going to where the um, Darling joins up with the Murray River. So let's keep on going. The, um, the roads down here have been very gravelly, um, but also there's a very, very fine dust, like almost a silt. Um, that uh, picks up and it gets in everywhere. It's um, it's finer, finer than, than like I've crossed the Simpson Desert and a lot of dirt roads I've been on. So uh, yeah, if you do come on this track, make sure you get a few seals under your belt to um, to keep thing, the dust out of everything you've got in your, on board. So let's have a look. And uh, here we are at the junction of the Murray and the Darling River. So spoiler alert if you can do the drive. That's the Darling and that's the Murray. So the trip has been about 750 kilometres, about 1,000 kilometres all up if you include the, uh, the um, bypass into Gundabuka uh, National Park and a bit of driving around back and forth of photos and things like that. Mostly dirt and it's been a great drive. At the end of the day, it's a drive down a very wide, slowly descending river. We've come down about 80 metres, I think, in that 750 k's. So it's a slow descent and it is very, very windy. The paddle steamers would have done it tough in the old days. Um, but at the same time, it would have been a good, pleasant sort of uh, meander. And uh, being a captain on one of those boats, probably, I don't know, I wouldn't think it would be too hard. I don't know how they went in the floods. I'm sure they would have tied the paddle steamers up somewhere, but um, how they make sure they land back in the water when the waters recede, I don't know. And now that I'm here, there's just one observation I'll make about the Darling River and a lot of the signage throughout New South Wales. And maybe this is because I'm a Queenslander, um, but I do like all the other states. In fact, Victoria is just over there, over there. Um, but they often talk about the uh, the Darling and the um, Barwon rivers, um, which interestingly enough is just one of the uh, tributaries that lead into this, the Barwon and the Bogan. Um, but let's not forget that the entire river system, the Murray-Darling, actually consists of, it starts with the, um, with the Condamine River up in Queensland, the head of Kalani, as I said at the opening of this session, that flows into the Bolon, and then that flows into the Kalgawa, and then that flows into the Darling. So let's not limit ourselves to the Barwon, Let's include the whole lot of them. So yeah, it's been a great trip and um, let's not forget all the rivers and of course all the small creeks and tributaries that lead into it. It's a huge catchment area. Just taking a reading from the Darling River Run um, Tourist Information Board at Wentworth at the junction of the Murray and the Darling. Um, I'll just read you a short excerpt here about the actual facts. So the Darling River varies from scattered waterholes to about 80 kilometres wide when it's in flood. The Darling River system covers about a million square kilometres, 14% of Australia, flowing south from the Kalgoa and Barwon River junction from its source in Queensland to its mouth southeast of Adelaide. So there you go. Is it worth it? Bloody oaf. Is it a good drive? Yes. Um, is it tough? Technically not so. It's a long dirt road. Um, and doing it by yourself is a bit of a test of uh, being self-sufficient and um, at the same time being prepared to fix whatever goes wrong, like have a flat tyre. I still don't know where that hole is in the tyre um, or whether it's a valve. I'll have to check that out. But uh, I did bugger the tyre up though when I braked heavily on, uh, early on in the trip. So it'll probably be just a repair job by myself. Will I do it again? Yep. I'll probably go with some mates. And I've got to have a drink at the Menindee pub, which is where Burke and Will spend some time. And um, yeah.
next adventure. Catch you later and thanks for watching and uh, hope you'll like and Facebook and uh, follow and all that sort of stuff with all the prompts and whatever the arrows are and everything else up top. Thank you.